Welcome to the beautiful and quiet town of Popsville, home of agriculture, industry and family. And in a local coffee shop not too far away, Devon meets up with Keisha to share what he's learned from his persistent organic pollutants workshop. Tell me Keisha, have you ever heard about Pops? Pops? What's a Pop? Pops, short for persistent organic pollutants, are a group of carbon-based chemicals that are harmful to our health and to the environment. According to the Stockholm Convention, POPs have been classified as harmful due to their persistence, bioaccumulation, toxicity, and long-range transport. This means that POPs can exist for many years and can seriously affect our health and the environment. That's right, Keisha. So pay attention to these main sources of POPs. To date, there are 16 known pesticides that have been identified as persistent organic pollutants. POPs, pesticides including DDT and lindane, can especially have long-term effects on our health and environment and should be avoided at all costs. Polychlorinated biphenyls are chemicals found in some industrial equipment manufactured before 1985 and were used to reduce the occurrence of fires in electrical equipment. Try avoiding contact with these items. Perfluorooctane sulfonic acids, or PFAS for short, may be found in several common household items that make everyday life easier. So pay attention to the type of items you choose to buy. Brominated flame retardants, PBDEs and HBCD are man-made chemicals added to a variety of products such as dashboards and foam and seats to make them less flammable. Unintentional persistent organic pollutants are formed due to several chemical processes or improper combustion processes such as open burning of waste. So you see Keisha, pops may be found right under our noses. Hmm, so what can happen to me if I'm exposed to these pops? Well, short-term exposure can cause symptoms like headaches, dizziness and nausea but staying in contact with these chemicals over prolonged periods and exposure to high concentrations can potentially make you very sick. Special precaution must be taken as pregnant women and developing children are most at risk when exposed to POPs. So now you know a little bit more on POPs, where they may be found and how they can affect you. For more information on how to manage and dispose of POPs containing products and waste, contact your local waste management agency or visit www.stopthepops.com for more info. Sometimes danger lurks where you least expect it. The more you know, the healthier you can grow. <laughs>